there's a lot of simple chemistry used in food production. And in this video, we will look at just one simple but widely used chemical reaction. No matter how long you wait, that bag of flour on the right is never going to rise off the table by itself. So what do we mean by self-raising or rising flour? It's plain or general purpose flour that has had baking powder added to it. Baking powder is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is thermally unstable, which means that when it's heated, breaks down to other substances. This can be demonstrated if we do this experiment. On gentle heating, bubbles of gas can be seen in the lime water. This is initially due to hot air expanding in the test tube. But soon, a steady stream of bubbles is seen that turn the clear lime water milky. This shows the carbon dioxide has been made as the hot sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposes. So when it's a part of a cake sponge mix, the baking powder breaks down to release carbon dioxide gas, which expands and creates millions of bubbles to raise the cake mixture. This reaction begins at above 80 degrees centigrade, and as cakes are baked at about 180 degrees centigrade, this reaction proceeds easily. If you notice, the breakdown of sodium hydrogen carbonate makes sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Sodium carbonate is quite stable to heat and only decomposes if heated above 400 degrees centigrade. This is well above cake baking temperature and so this reaction doesn't happen. Otherwise, the whole cake would thermally decompose. There is another way the baking powder, part of self-raising flour, can be used. This uses the chemical reaction that takes place between metal carbonates and acids. Acid plus sodium hydrogen carbonate equals sodium salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. When milk turns sour, lactic acid is made. If sour milk is used to make a cake mix, this begins the reaction to generate carbon dioxide before it's even placed in the oven. This can give a lighter baked cake as more carbon dioxide was made than just relying on thermal decomposition of sodium hydrogen carbonate and is also a way of using up sour milk. If the two reactions are compared, you can see that the one mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate can generate more carbon dioxide when treated with acid than when it is heated. The self-rising term is used to distinguish recipes from others, such as in bread making, where the biochemical reaction of yeast with sugars produce carbon dioxide. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.